Hello Akuma fans, this is Charlie with the Gossiker Application Staff with another tip for the Akuma OSP P300M control. As some of you have noticed, the spindle does not like to be empty on your mill, whether it's a vertical or a horizontal. If it is empty and you try to make a tool change, the machine hangs up and it's, <laughs> it's really not happy. So I'm going to show you how to get around that, which will allow you to change a tool into an empty spindle. This procedure is exactly the same whether you have a horizontal, a vertical, or a 5-axis, as long as it's the P300M control. Your control may look a little different than mine, but I'm working on a big fancy MU 5-axis machine today. The procedure is exactly the same. We will come over to the parameter button on your keypad, and normally what comes up first is program 0. Now we have to push the F8 display change and here's where I lose a lot of people. You may or may not have a bunch of things showing up on your display change window. So before we move on let's make sure everybody's with us by pushing the arrow right key, selecting F1 menu change and then make sure that we've got a check mark in all display. What this is, it's a filter that hides certain parameters that are not necessary for day-to-day -day operation. It is up to the operator whether or not we want to uncheck that to declutter our display change window after we're done with this process. But we'll have all display on just so that we can have, uh, we know that the parameter we're looking for is not hidden. So, click on OK, and now we're going to scroll through the list of options. Yours may look slightly different depending on the options on the machine, but what we're looking for is the MC user parameter that's called ATC, uh, there it is, ATC tool exchange, this guy right here. If we select it and close the window, now we're looking at that particular page of parameters. The parameter we want is on the second page. Notice I've got one of four here. It's on the second page, so you'll need to use your page down key on your control to get to the second of four pages. Right here, number 17, MDI mode, no tool interlock released. What that means is, yeah, I understand that there are times when the spindle will be empty and I want the machine to fill it for me. So we will just tap that guy this is our menu down here on the bottom, the F1 key, so we'll click on it. And now we have an option of no checked box or a checked box, and we want to check it. Now, you will have to turn on this parameter every time you power up the machine. It is not a default parameter. When you power off, that check mark will go away. So once, uh, once a day, I always just go in there and check mark the thing. Now, keep in mind that if you have forgotten to do that, and you've commanded a tool change into an empty spindle, as soon as you check mark this, if you have not hit reset, the machine is going to make the tool change. So keep your, uh, keep your head aware about you because we don't want to, uh, uh, we don't want to get startled by the tool changer making its move. If you have any questions, feel free to contact your Gossiker application staff and we'll be happy to help in any way we can.